video we will be covering the topic natural language processing toolkit the topic that are mainly going to be focused is word numbering nltk and spacey as we all know model can only compute numerical data for this kind of scenario there is a term called bag of words representation where a text from data will be collected and will be named as vocabulary or dictionary after collecting the vocabularies those words will be arranged in lexicographical order what is lexicographical order it is nothing but the arrangement of characters words or numbers in alphabetical order that is the letters sort sorted from a to z this will even be called as dictionary order where we start searching for the section containing the words starting with the first letter of the desired word from that section we search for the words that contain the second letter of the desired word and so on so let's say there are n words in vocabulary each word is represented by a vector of size n and this representation is called one hot encoding now let's try to understand what is one hot encoding as we initially saw a model can only understand numerical data this one hot encoding helps machine to understand the vocabularies this type of encoding creates a new binary features for each possible category and assigns a value of 1 to the feature of each sample that corresponds to its original vocabulary let's try to understand by seeing this example of pets which are arranged in a vector format on the left hand side the name of the pets are arranged in a way that human could understand on the right hand side it is arranged as zeros and ones as machine readable for the first data cat it is represented as one in the first index and the rest are zero like the same way dog is represented as one in the second index of the second row and the rest are zero this is called one hot encoding using the one hot encoding the bag of words representation is explained here in vector size n format now we will see about word to vector word to vector is an another way to represent words why do we go for word to vector word to vector is actually much more efficient than one hot encoding one hot encoding doesn't help us to find the similarities but word to vector helps us to find the similarities this word to vector model represent words in dense vector instead of one hot encoding model should be able to capture semantic and morphological similarity so the vectors for similar similar words are similar since we deal with the context of natural language processing the model should be able to learn from context a simple way to get this kind of representation is to construct a co-occurrence matrix and apply singular value decomposition in the co-occurrence matrix we assume the context of the previous word and next word and then we calculate the occurrence of word to word and calculate number of occurrences with respect to word to another word in the vocabulary or all of the unique codes with the data which we have this process is slow and the problem in this method is if we have billions of rows and columns or when we are dealing with large data it will tend to operate slow 
So for this to rectify this slowness we can use word to vector. Word to vector was proposed by Nicolo in 2013. Let's try to understand the diagram. From input data we extract vocabularies and make some processing to learn some parameters such that when a new word comes from the corpus we should be able to represent in a format of vector. Word to vector is basically computationally efficient because it's a two layer predictive neural network for learning word embeddings from raw text. This model is considered deep for its ability to digest expansive data set quickly. This model can even be used for unsupervised learning of words to find relationship between different words and it also has ability to abstract higher meaning between words. This model is used in natural language tasks such as language modeling, sentiment analysis and more. Word2 vector can be built in two ways. One is continuous bag of model and the other one is skip crumb. In continuous bag of model, the distributed representations of context are combined to predict the word in the middle. While in the skip crumb model, the distributed representation of inputs word is used to predict the context. So these are the two ways to install word to vector in Python. A library called Gensim is used to install word to vector. We can build continuous bag of words model by calling word to vector function from Gensim library and by providing necessary functions and parameters. In the similar way, skipgram can also be used by calling skipgram. So that's, so that's all about the introduction to natural language processing tools. Thank you.